morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Yes, we left Tampa and are back in Disney World. Off to Epcot on this lovely, bright, sunny, beautiful sky in the morning. Our home. We are home. We are home. And we are ready for a sun blocked, amazing day. Look at that. Do you hear it? Can you feel the magic? <sighs> All right, we got up at six. I packed up the room in Tampa. Um, Got James in the car, still asleep at seven on the road. It's now a little after 8.30, we're here. Steve and his boys are on their way. He was a champion, Steve, this morning and got us a very early boarding group for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Let's get some food or something. Look at, I gotta call Phil. Wait, monorail. All right, the line wasn't bad and Steve's not gonna be here for another like 40 minutes. So we're gonna sneak on spaceship and then go check out my old alma mater and check out what Electric Umbrella looks like. James, uh, he enjoyed Spaceship Earth. He wasn't like ooh and an ah, but he was just like contently soaking in all the historical knowledge of the Phoenicians and of our evolution of communication. But now we're gonna go check out uh, Connections Eatery, I think is what it's called. Kinda nervous. You hungry? You looking at all the other kids, having so much fun? Here we go, I also like cannot get enough of, oh wait, no, those are stairs. We have to go over here, because it's stroller. Cannot get enough of the area music. You see Figment? You see Figment? That was cute. Well, this is cool. Like all the different versions of steeped and brewed beverage vessels. So cool. Um, the whole place is not open for seating right now. I think that gives me some hardcore Epcot vibes, the way that looks. They've got some people making stuff behind glass over there. I was hoping, and I'll take another look to see if there's anything that like is reminiscent of Electric Umbrella besides the location, but I'm not even seeing the architecture. It looks like they gutted everything. Like I don't, that was not where, I thought like maybe the registers would be kind of the same location. But it's beautiful in here. It gives me Epcot vibes. It gives me like what Epcot, like yesteryear Epcot, like what Epcot was going to be. Ooh, look at those. I messed this up. I thought it looked felt really small in there. That's Connections Cafe, the Starbucks. And I was like, this is nice looking, but it's just a freaking Starbucks. Here, on the other side, Connections Cafe, or no, Connections Eatery. All right. Maybe I'll get something here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Here is the menu. Looking good, feeling good. Over there's Guardians. We're 90 minutes away from boarding group. We're boarding group 50. They're calling 1 through 30 right now. Wait a minute. A different version of Way Out Way is on right now. This is, so this is cool. This is cool. I like it, I, I like it. So this doesn't open until 11, 11 or nine. They still have self-serve pop, which like, I feel like that is an homage to Electric Umbrella because they were like, nowhere else do they have pop like that. Do you hear the music? Love it. We got Figment. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I think he, I think someone has a favorite Epcot ride. 
Yeah. Are you gonna be an inventor of the year? Recipient? We literally walked down. We're already sitting on it. And he keeps freaking out every time he sees Figment. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Follow the bouncing Figment. Well, if you can't beat him, join him. Safe to say we have a Figment fan in our family. 927, I already have done two rides. We're gonna skip on over to the seas and hop in Nemo. To, to basically be 9.30 and going on the third ride, that's a pretty stellar start to Epcot day. And DVC Lounge, we'll be going there. <gasps> Who is this? Do you see these friends? 10 minute wait it says. Which most of that is usually just walking through this long, long queue. Let's go explore, explore, explore. Let's go explore the big blue world. Mr. Ray, we can't explore without Nemo. I'm sure we'll see him any minute now. As we got off the ride, Steve texted and said we're here. But well, we're gonna look at these fishies because James, he loves fish. Isn't that beautiful? Those are sleeping. Do you wanna be friends with that one? Well, I think we found a souvenir. 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 minutes. We got Steve and the boys with us here to hang out with James and Gong's Guardians. But I need substance. Right. Yo! Oh, he's all set. He's got a donut. Joffrey took way too long. I got a nitro coffee and cookie. Uh, Steve suggested I eat something before we go on this. Not on an empty stomach, but our virtual, our, our boarding group has been called. All right, I'm going with Henry. We just, we just, Bumped in. Now we see. And so I have like no idea what to expect from this. Heather's gonna like, make sure I'm safe, make sure I'm not scared. What on earth? What on Xandar? This is cool. Whoa. I hold the knowledge, memory, and experiences. Look at our friends. Woo! This is gonna be good. This queue just doesn't stop moving. Like, you're right. We do, like, it's a really long queue and it's really beautiful. And, like, we just haven't stopped walking, which is great because it doesn't feel like we're waiting. All right, we're in the holding space. This might be the last room I can vlog in. Are you excited? Henry, we're almost, we're almost in, in line to get our spot. Are you excited? What are you most excited for? Uh, I'm, I'm Say it. Do you think we're gonna do front row or back row? Yeah, hopefully, we'll see. Cars are ours. Yeah. Henry, I'm nervous and I'm excited. I didn't like it. I didn't. It didn't hit me that we were doing this until right now. That was incredible. It was like nothing I expected. Look at these guys just hanging out. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Yeah. You been good? Anyways, it's like who's that? Thanks. I don't need that. Right? How was it? It was incredible. I wish it was 15% longer, but it was great. It's not for everybody with the stomach effect. What's that? The stomach effect is real. Oh yeah. But they do a decent job managing it. All right, these things are cool. You get the stones in the front. This gift shop, Root is so cool. 
Tesseract with Space Stone. Wow. Uh, ether. Wow. Steve just said it. I don't know if I got it on the phone. He said, literally couldn't ask for a better morning. We got Guardians done. We got toys. We rider swapped. So actually, there's no limit on when Steve can go on with Henry or Miles later. That's, that's kind of cool because of James. Like, we have our boarding group. We had our time. But we're allowed to go back for that swap whenever. So that's good because Henry's like stomach was turned a little bit. So we're gonna wait a little bit, but we're gonna get some club cool and hit World Showcase. James just fell asleep. Hopefully he'll get a good two hours minimum in of us just strolling World Showcase. Oh, you got my house. Ah, I wish I'd get this at home. Everything is right in the world minus Teddy and Sarah not being here. We're at World Showcase and it's a beautiful day and there's a cool breeze. We got a cream meal here. We got the pork belly here. Oh. And the sun's coming out. You couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. Couldn't. Well, for a Brookhart standard, we didn't really make it that far. We made it to Canada. Um, but Steve's out of here. Uh, Henry, his stomach might have turned either from drinking a Sprite too fast or from Guardians. But actually, it worked out perfectly. My room notification just came available. So uh, 120 or 140, first floor room in Port Orleans Riverside. James is still asleep. So I'm going to try to get him to the hotel get ourselves kind of situated, maybe go for a little swim. Really the goal is to come back for fireworks for us. Guys, look how beautiful that fountain is. It's my favorite. Look how nice that is. Ooh, this makes me extra miss Sarah. This is Sarah and her family's stomping grounds. Port Orleans Riverside, here we go. Why, 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 why? <laughs> it's not every day you get to wake up, yes, upset in a hot car, but then immediately get shown Chicken chunks, pocket nugs for longtime viewers um, from <laughs> Steve's kids who didn't want them in a beautiful Port Orleans room. So we're at Magnolia Bend. Look at this Princess and the Frog detailing. Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful TV. I think it's so funny that like Bay Lake Tower, some rooms have like a TV the quarter of the size. Got a fridge, pretty great. Um, standard, you know, stuff to put stuff. USB outlets. Joffrey is gonna drink that up. We got two queens. What do we got going on here? It's the Brookhart's in a, in a different life. Well, if James is awake, we might just chill for a second. Like I wanna get our luggage and stuff set and then we might be going. Oh, you throw my magic band? Whoa, man. Supposedly, I was, I've been told that like when the Ryan, Sarah's family would come when they were growing up, Christina would sometimes sleep on like the equivalent of this. It's funny, see this right here? Sarah, toss a picture in when you edit this of our bench in our living room that Eve lives on, that this we have, we bought from a Habitat for Humanity, a Sasagula trading company bench with the alligator bayou print on it that used to be in a Disney resort room. That's like the equivalent of that. Oh, you got a french fry and bathrooms, sweaty Peter. Um, this brings me back because we did, it wasn't bathroom. Like this brings me back to some Disney college program era times where me and Sarah had stayed in Disney resorts um, a few times. I love this print. I've seen that a few other times. <sighs> Great. I love it. Um, kind of unexpected. We have a fan too. What are you bunking me for? Should we put on Must Do Disney or should we put on um, Adventures by Disney? Yeah. Well, I know they got the Mickey Channel. Oh, see, I'm gonna watch this at like one in the morning tonight. That's his reaction to seeing Toy Story Land. We're gonna go. Swimming in an old man's swimming hole. So it's such a weird couple days, such a magical couple days, such a very special that I'll always like cherish, but it's so weird to not have Sarah and Teddy with us. Like, especially for us being at Riverside, Sarah's like origin story to Disney World. We miss mama, don't we? Yeah, we do. And Teddy. I didn't think we were by this gazebo. I have a distinct, oh, there's the boat. We might have to take a boat ride in our schedule. I have a distinct memory of... Oh, that's for the boat, huh? I have a distinct memory of hanging out this gazebo, walking on this resort, 
thinking. It was after, shortly after we moved here and we were talking to the CRM and Dr. Loy about infertility treatment and I have a distinct memory of being in this gazebo, Sarah, talking to her about one day we'll get to be here with our kids. And we're not together here, but I'm here with one of our kids because we've got multiple kids now. We're at the pool. There's old man swimming hole. I'm gonna see if this life jacket will fit him. Maybe we'll have a life jacket to because he's a big kid now. like that the first boat ride in two years and also James has been on a boat before but he also slept through it just like him slipping through this one making a quick stop in the world of Disney see about grabbing maybe a couple things shout out to some beach club love I'm gonna stop in the gift shop real quick and then duck dip out to walk over to world showcase it seemed like a bottle of water like this second you know what I mean Hey, Disney Cruise Line, see you later. Time to finally get back to World Showcase. And, but I just want to point out, there's my rock that I was watching. Sarah and I were watching the Marathon Weekend 2018 when I decided to become a runner. And now it's going to be time to just bask in the World Showcase. You know, let's just compound with some more cheese. We're gonna do a repos with melted queso fresco. Oh, beautiful flowers, right? Can't be a visit to Epcot without a little dip into one of our favorite pavilions, Norway. Maybe pick up Sarah some, some more perfume. She's kind of a smelly person. Did you meet your old friend again? He loves this dude. <laughs> Whoa, we're outside again. What kind of witchcraft is this? <laughs> yeah, that's a walk on. This is going to be great. We're last minute, right before I keep finding things to distract us. We're getting a chocolate cake for James for the fireworks. If this line goes through in the next Six minutes. Woo! Chocolate cake and harmonious. Spaceship Earth. Looks even better with the firework smoke around it. We're heading to the buses. Depending on how the buses go, we'll dictate the rest of our evening. Last park visit of this trip. It's been something special. This has been lately my favorite, favorite, favorite piece is this music and the lights in Spaceship Earth. But I'm trying to squeeze a little extra magic into this. I let the bus stop, and we might get the first bus. Uh, it depends. It might. I might be able to squeeze on. We made it on the first bus, but I decided to just get off on the first stop, which may end up biting me in the tail, because this can be a pretty big resort. Um, just got to see where the lobby and or old man's swimming hole is from here. But he was getting restless and a very, very kind gentleman offered to, uh, there was one last seat uh, like hooked, tucked away in the corner. And he said, hey, why don't you take a sit, seat there with the little guy and I'll hold your stroller because he was just standing there. And so that was nice. I think I hear some owls. All right, time to figure out how to get back to our room. 
I may be sweaty, but we're at the main building lobby and we made it and it's before time. It's just after time. Ah, Fulton's General Store. This is one of the best gift shops on property. So I only took one other clip today that I will put in here, but it's definitely not in chronological order from the vlog. In honor of the boys being at World Showcase today, Teddy's got his world traveler onesie on. So I guess all that was share worthy today was that Teddy had a cute onesie that matched where the boys were. Um, my day was kind of weird. I went to the south side, I came back, I finished my photo organizing, 10.37 p.m. So that's a huge relief because that's what I wanted to get done while the boys were gone. Um, and yeah, it feels so, so good. So everything's uploaded, organized. I was behind since November, so I did a lot of uploading. And I've been watching the like first three Star Wars episodes. Like, I don't, I realized during the Obi-Wan Kenobi, like, little recap at the beginning that I wasn't really sure if I'd seen them. Like, I know like the iconic scenes, but I wasn't really sure. And so lately I've been saying that I miss Darth Vader. Like, he's not in Galaxy's Edge. I, th I don't really know if you could meet him in that like other Star Wars area studios right now. I'm also wearing my studio shirt. Um, but I just feel like he used to have like such more of like a parks presence and I just miss Darth Vader. I also think he's one of the coolest characters to meet because he's a person in a costume with a mask. And so like it's straight up like out of a movie set Darth Vader. It's so cool. And I just feel like everyone's like the the newer characters that are in Galaxy's Edge are great, but I just like miss Darth Vader. So I've been watching these and just having a really low key day. I feel like I mean like I worked, like time went by fast. But that was good for my last day because I am missing Peter and James so much. And I want them to just keep having fun because I feel like they've had such a great time. But I'm so ready for them to be back. And I didn't realize I was going to talk this much. But um, this is all I have to contribute for today. So I hope you enjoyed their day at Disney World. Pretty fun place, I guess. Um, and they'll be returning tomorrow. So we'll all meet together again. I'll be very, very happy. It is good to be home. I guess I could show this peanut one more time. So stinking cute. All right, it's been a crazy little bit. I thought we were going to the pool, but I also think I'm gonna give him a bath and I wanna like get as much set up tonight for us to leave in the morning as possible. And then I was gonna go get us quick service food, but then I realized it closes in a little bit. So by the time we like get up and get ready, plus I just, I'm tired. So we're gonna snack on some of this popcorn and then we're gonna take a quick bath and then it's gonna be bedtime. All right, James just took a bath. He loves it with all his toys. I have ABD on. The night's coming to an end. I'm gonna make a bottle for him. We're gonna snuggle up and go to bed. We have an early start where we're trying to leave here, I think at seven or shortly after. Uh, not as early as our arrival down here, but still pretty early. There were two massive voids this past five nights, four nights. Um, obviously Sarah and Teddy, and I, I, I wish more than anything they could have come, but if we focus on the positive of this trip, that two of our very best friends got married in a beautiful, beautiful ceremony. And also I got this wonderful, potentially once in a lifetime trip with my son James. You know, oh. I'll, I have plenty of memories from these last couple of days that uh, that I'll stick with for a long, long time, the rest of my life. So I am itching in my skin to get home and squeeze Teddy and squeeze Sarah and squeeze Eve and for all of us to be together again. I am very, 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 very excited about going home tomorrow, but this has been a magical trip, magical time. 
I'm in my favorite place in the whole world with one of my favorite people in the whole world, but it's not 100% without all of my favorite people. So we are gonna go be with all of our favorite people because that's what a family does, right? Um, thank you so much for everybody who followed along with our adventures, gave kind words to Chelsea and Cole during that vlog. Um, I met a few of you these past couple days. Thank you for saying hi. Um, I always love saying hi and chit-chatting with you guys when I can. Um, it's always special to me. It means a, more than you guys probably realize, even just this the quick hi. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, from the last time in Walt Disney World for now. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>